Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Endeavor Archetype Legacy. This board features Endeavor's hover camber, which is a smaller rocker section of the nose, and then camber throughout the whole board. That rocker section of the nose is gonna give you ease entry in and out of turns, as well as more optimal powder float, while that camber section is gonna give you all the load pop, snap, and drive. This board's available in 154, 157 wide, 158, 160 wide, 162, and 164. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that was sunny, bluebird skies with four to six inches of fresh pow. It warmed up and then turned into hot pow as the day went on, making it a little more chundery, choppy, just really firm. The groomers were fast, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This is your standard run of the mill, middle of the road, powder free ride flex of a board. You got more play in the nose that's accentuated by where that rocker is. A little bit stiffer through the midsection and then the tail with the cutout, it gets a little bit softer from that swallow tail. The torsional flex is abundant, but it is snappy. One thing I will note is that this board feels a little more lively than past versions, which means any chatter you get slightly resonates more under the front foot. And in rutted out terrain, you feel it a little bit more underfoot when you slam something hard. This will jar your body and it can buck you around if you get into some super choppy, lumpy terrain. With that set back camber, you get a little more pop out of the rear foot. It just sets everything back. So you kind of roll back, it engages the tail, and then you get that springboard effect so you can send any side hit with ease. This board will boost if you load it up and you're being assertive with it, and it'll still have solid snap if you're being a little bit more laid back. So when it comes to buttering on this board, the nose is the sweet spot. You got that rocker, it's a little bit softer flex. You can leverage your weight outside the nose and really press into it. So when you pop a 180, it really presses into that fresh snow. It elevates that swallow tail, and then you can spring right back out and go on your way. This board will hold a nose butter with ease. With the tail, it pretty much just does a wheelie and sits there. You can get a little sideways on a groomer if you want to, but you have to worry about that cutout hooking. So just be aware of that. So overall, if you can carve, this board can carve. I love the way that this board rides. It's got a fluid edge-to-edge -edge power transmission. And what's nice is when you're really just driving that camber from back through the tail, you get that power to slingshot you out of the turn. You do lose a little bit just due to that swallowtail, but you still get good power. On edge, it feels locked in. It cuts through chop and chunder with ease if you keep your knees bent. I mean, if you're going through like really rutted out death cookies, it'll probably disengage the edge and kick you out, but that's not the type of terrain you wanna ride this board with. Short, tight, quick carves, medium, mellow carves, totally it's strong suit though when you're on a groomer. Who's this board for? The resort powder hound that wants a versatile swallowtail. I've owned two of this board, so getting on this, I kind of knew what I was gonna get. It does have the new Phonon top sheet in it, which adds a little more liveliness. I noticed that it wasn't as damp and it just seemed to have a little bit more chatter. Most people probably won't notice that unless they've ridden the old version, but it is more lively, so you wanna keep your knees bent a little bit more. Otherwise, this thing still floats well, it's exceptional in the trees, and you can still rail a turn when you absolutely have to on a groomer. Comparable boards, the Amplid Morning Glory, the Telos Deros, the Capita Navigator. Binding recommendations, the Rome Katana, the Union Strata, the Jones Meteorite. This has been my review of the Endeavor Archetype Legacy. Do you agree, do you disagree, do you own one, are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.